so now let's create our recent blog post section so this is one of the most important part of this series where you will be able to understand how the loop builder works and create any kind of layouts so this is just an example layout that i'm gonna create here but uh, in the future you can create any kind of layout after completing this part so let's take a look at our websites first and i have to add some dummy post if i go to all post there is no dummy post here let's delete the default post which is hello world delete this one and i would like to add a plugin for adding dummy post okay so instead of adding plugin okay let's use plugin so that it saves our time wp dummy content generator this one click activate so we just install and activate the wp dummy content generator plugin here now we are going to navigate to the dummy content generator and here you can see generate post so right now i'm going to add the dummy post here and i'd like to add 10 post so if i want to add a thumbnail as well just check this so that it will add thumbnail create generate post and go to all post so as you can see we have added 10 dummy post here if we click view you'll be able to see the dummy post with a thumbnail and it looks like this we're gonna customize our single post page later but let's continue with the home page so after installing any plugin or adding any new post or pages if you want to display it on your existing editor then make sure you have reload so i'm going to reload this page here and now it's displaying the page now i'm going to add a group take a look at our design so there is a title and descriptions so i think we have the same layouts here we can copy this part and paste here first of all make it wide width and disable the inner content and now copy the same items from here and paste it here and also change the text instead of why people let's change it to my recent blog post and there is some uh, dummy content so inside this group i have added uh, this uh, title and now below this stack i would like to add loop builder query loop choose start blank and choose this one image data title because initially we want these features and this is very important to understand the query loop we have already created these sections using query loop builder i hope you have some idea and now let's apply the same idea here when creating or displaying the post but in a different layouts so you can see here this is our recent blog post and if you just analyze the layout here if you just understand uh, what we have you can easily create this part so first of all it's a it's an image where it's displaying as a background image and there is a gradient and over the gradient there is a title of the post and there is a post date so for background image initially there is no options adding background image as a feature image or uh, we can use background image inside cover in a different way so let's click on query loop builder here and go to post template and change it first to the grid view change it from here to post per page three and now it looks like this so we are gonna change the featured image uh, i'm going to remove this one and from date i'd like to add before and add a cover and select here use feature image so as you can see it's displaying feature image but as a background image and it's displaying from the cover area and inside the cover i'd like to change the height and take this title area here 
remove paragraph and take the dates to the top and also change the title from h2 to h4 and when i select cover you can see there is an option to change the content positions i would like to make it bottom left and for this title or date i would like to add some spacing inside the cover so what i do uh, what i wanted to uh, apply here if you just take a look at the design i want to display this date at the top right corner so to display the top right corner in a perfect and best way would be take another cover here or you can take like stack and add the date inside the stack and the title and then select the stack and change the items stretch between or space between but i do not see okay this one is here so i don't think it will gonna work here as expected let's make it white color so that you can see so i just wanted to place it at the right top right corner and initially you cannot do it when whether you are using cover or stack if i try another way here it will not gonna work as well the remaining way would be use another cover that i already said before taking stack so just use color and i would like to keep the color for a while so that you can understand what's going on here and add the date here you remove paragraph and you can see i would like to select this cover and place the date at the top right corner and after that you can see there is this stack which is displaying here and inside the title if you want you can add content or you can add sorry you can add excerpt basically not content excerpt and besides excerpt if you want you can also add read more button here so you can add read more custom button or you can just add a read more link here like uh, the default read more link but i want to use a, re a read more button so that i can uh, make it more customization here and let's add a background color uh, you can add a background color uh, white or let's change the text color to black so this is the button and now change the background color of this cover area i would like to change the height of this cover because this height is not necessary honestly it's not necessary so let's change the background color and change or add something uh, for this date as a date background let's add over here and you can take it group because i want to add some background color like our design let's add background add some padding here and remove the padding from this cover area go to style step remove the padding and also you can add some padding on the parent cover let's say three and here is three and now if i compare with our design uh, this background color should be white color and the text should be black and it should be only date and month let's make it similar now select our date and we can select a custom format here only date and month here so right now by default there is no options for date and month but uh, we can make it let's say the f means you can, you can see the guide here for custom date if i go to or open format string here our uh, format is date and then month so you can learn from here if you scroll down you can see here you can see uh, the l capital uh, i think it's i which is uh, friday and then f september which is month and j which is date so let's say if i put small j and f then it will cover our date and month and there is some other formatting that you can learn from here as well so 
let's put is J first and then F just put J and then F so you can see it looks perfect now and select the group again change the background color to white color and then the text color which is the date text color to black color and make it little bit border or apply I think there is a little bit border radius yes and also there is a little bit a border color here which is a branding color let's add some border color and the border radius let's say 5 pixel and reduce the top and bottom padding 6 or 7 pixel would be perfect and follow the same for the button but uh, now just click save changes and have a look how it looks like reload this page scroll down and you can see right now it looks like this so we can now apply some gradient color here to make it exactly similar like this one and change the font size as well so right now the font size is 32 pixel and we are using here 32 pixel which is uh, perfect and change the height of this uh, template as well so let's select the cover first and at the same time i would like to make this uh, parent cover to the left i think it would look perfect if i make it to the center or to the right and zoom out a little bit here now when i'm using or when i've selected the parent cover there is an options for overlay color let's select the overlay and select the gradient color from here and add our burn color which i already have copied from here paste the burn color and at the top let's make it none and increase the opacity from here and also change the color and make it from bottom area now click save changes and reload this page so now it looks like this and due to the two lines of uh, title uh, it looks like this but uh, we can spend some more time and add some adjustment here which will make it more perfect but as of now i do not want to spend much time uh, on this but if you want you can play around with the cover play around with the stack cover and you can make some little bit of adjustment to make it more perfect here so i think that's it and you can see here there is a pagination there is next and previous pagination here okay so before the pagination uh, you can also apply the text uh, button color here as of now it's a deep blue or white so i think it's white we have and we can keep this one like this way it will change the post automatically based on our recent post and uh, recent uh, content so if you want you can add when there is no result no blog post it will display something like there is no blog post found it will display this uh, text when there is no blog post at the same time when i selected the pagination i can easily add a space between the pagination and go to the styles tab i can change the color i can change the link color and i can change the like text here preview or previous page so let's make it previous page or post and i can make it here next page or sorry post add some spacing at the top by adding spacer it's really not necessary for this design we do not have these features inside our design but uh, if you want you can add it there is also options for arrow and there's also for a uh, chevron so you can add that as well let's reload this page so 
so now you can see it looks perfect now if i just take a look at the responsive view for a moment you can see it will change the layout and it's working perfectly on small devices so now we have completed our recent blog post area and if i take a look at our design there is a final layout which is call to action that we're gonna create in our next part